if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to a man in his own language, that goes to his heart. This was said by Nelson Mandela and it's still very true. Salut, bonjour, coucou. In today's lesson, we're going to look at 20 useful French phrases for travelers. On commence. Salut mes amis, ça va? <laughs> the quote i said in the beginning of this video is extremely true i remember the very first time i traveled to Côte d'Ivoire with friends of mine and i was miserable not because the country wasn't beautiful the food wasn't delicious but it was really because i didn't understand the language my friends are french speakers so it was very easy for them but for me it wasn't easy to hail a cab to go to the cinema to go to the boulangerie it was a total nightmare for me and i couldn't speak the language as i would have thought what i had to do is i had the dictionary i was always <laughs> flipping through my dictionary just to know what to say however a year later when i had followed the different proven steps that i taught you in the last lesson you can click this link to watch it i realized that oh my goodness i felt so much more empowered i was then able to actually speak french with the natives and they were so much more nicer to me. So in today's lesson, I'm going to walk you through 20 different useful phrases to use when traveling solo or even when traveling with a family or friends to a francophone country. On you va. The first is salut, <laughs> which I'm sure you always hear me say in the beginning of most of my videos. Salut, this just really means hello. And it's a nice way, it's an informal way. And I noticed that anytime I said salut to someone, they smiled, oh, salut, ça va? And they were very willing to talk to me. So you can write this down to remember. Salut. Number two is, excusez-moi, or pardon, pardon, excusez-moi. So for instance, if you wanted to ask for something, you would say, excusez-moi, mademoiselle, excusez-moi, madame, excusez-moi, monsieur, and not just say, salut, salut, and move your hand up and down. Excusez-moi is also very helpful. So the person can stop and look back and assist you. The third is s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, and this means please. So for instance, you could say s'il vous plaît, pouvez-vous prendre ma photo, which means please, can you take my picture? And I always say this, that as a beginner, it's good for you to use vous because you do not know that person and you want to definitely come off as being respectful the first time you talk to a stranger. If you're not quite sure what subject pronoun to use, you can go back to this lesson that I have up here that really walks you through when to use to or when to use vous. So the fourth is je voudrais un ticket or you can say je voudrais un billet. This is very necessary. Perhaps you want to get a bus ticket, you want to get a train ticket or you even want to get a cinema ticket or you even want to go to the amusement park <laughs> and actually just get a ticket. So it's very good for you to remember this. Je voudrais un ticket. All right. The fifth phrase is à demain. À demain. This is very useful if probably you're going up to your room, you want to tell the hotel receptionist à demain or you went to a pub and you just want to tell the bar manager there à demain, merci, au revoir. <laughs> you can also use this, à demain. The sixth phrase is, s'il vous plaît, où est la gare? S'il vous plaît, où est la gare? This would definitely come in very handy if you're trying to take trains from, you know, train A to train B and you're not sure where the train station is. You can stop someone and ask, excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, où est la gare? Trust me, it's very, very handy for you to remember. Number seven phrase is se combien? Se combien? When I first traveled and I was learning French, what I did is I always asked <laughs> for the amount of something, especially if the price tag was not on it, because I wouldn't want an instance whereby they packaged it and then I realized I do not have enough money. If they tell me the amount and I still do not understand, I ask them for the numerical value. So the person could tell you son, I may not know what son is. You can ask them, could you please write it down or oh, what is the number? And they write 100. So you know, oh, okay, it's 100 euros or whatever country it is you are in, okay? The eighth phrase is enchanté, enchanté, which really means it's nice to meet you. The next phrase is to talk about where you're from or who you are. So, je suis Nigerian, je suis Nigerian. 
I realized that whenever I said this, most of the locals were happy, like, oh my goodness, because my accent is definitely different from theirs. And they would say, oh, nice to meet you. And you would realize that this even helps you make new friends because you now tell them, oh, I'm Nigerian, je suis Nigerian. And they then want to tell you where they are from and so forth. And the conversation gets started. So try this out. The 10th phrase is, je veux un verre de. Je veux un verre de. So perhaps you go to a restaurant and they ask you what would you like first. You can just tell them, oh, I would like a glass of water. Je veux un verre de. Je veux un verre de, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. And then that comes with us really nice. A person like, wow, this person understands French. <laughs> so, je veux un verre de. The 11th phrase, which should actually have come up in the beginning is, mon nom est, because it's very important. <laughs> you have to say what your name is. So, mon nom est Sumo. Je suis Sumo. Je m'appelle Sumo. Mon nom est Sumo. Anyone is fine. You can use either of the three. Basically says my name is and you fill in your name. Okay. The twelfth phrase is Je voudrais une table plus deux. Je voudrais une table plus deux. Okay. Which basically means I would like a table for two people. So you could go out, get to a restaurant and they ask you, oh, reservation for how many? Je voudrais une table plus deux. The next is Robinet ou plat. And this basically means you want tap water or still water. You need to be careful about this because tap water is free. Still water is bottled, which is not free. So it's good for you to have an idea of which you want. Because after requesting for a table, they could then ask you, would you like water? And then you need to differentiate which one you want precisely. The next phrase is, je suis enseignant. <laughs> so they ask you, what are you? I'm a teacher. Je suis enseignant. And then this just gives you room to talk more about what you do every day. Perhaps you're a plumber, perhaps you're a dancer, perhaps you're a student. You can just fill in the gaps and say, je suis, and then put in your profession. Okay. The 15th phrase, which is very common, most people say it is, vous parlez l'anglais? Vous parlez anglais? <laughs> I always tell my students or people that I try not to use this every time because what happens is I got into that trap. So once they start speaking French to me and I'm confused, I'm getting scared, I make the ask, do you speak English? So that they can know that, oh, this person is a foreigner and he, the person doesn't understand our language. Let me either speak slowly, lentement, or let me just switch to English. So if you're not quite sure this is your first trip and you don't want to make a mistake, you can as well ask the person, vous parlez l'anglais? And they might be nice enough to speak English to you. The next phrase is, je voudrais un remboursement. Je voudrais un remboursement. This is very useful because what happens is, you go to a shop, you buy this beautiful top, beautiful jeans and nice shoes, but then you get back to your Airbnb and hotel or hotel and you realize this doesn't look good on me. It doesn't fit properly, the color, I don't like it. So what happens is you go back to the store and you request for a reimbursement. So yes, keep that handy. Trust me when you travel. It's a very, very key. The 17th phrase, je veux du rouge ou du bleu. So perhaps you go into a store once more and you, they're asking you what color of shoes would you like? What color of skirts? You can just tell them, je veux du rouge ou du bleu or whatever color it is if you wanted pink or you wanted yellow you would just fill in the gap okay this is just to specify on the particular color of the item that you wish to purchase all right the 18th phrase je voudrais réserver une chambre s'il vous plaît je voudrais réserver une chambre s'il vous plaît so perhaps the airbnb you were staying at you're not really feeling it or the hotel you were staying at and you would like to switch to a new hotel or whatever your reason is perhaps you're leaving france to go to a different city you could actually ask this that oh je voudrais une chambre s'il vous plaît i would like to book a room and so the 19th useful french phrase whilst traveling is j'ai besoin d'un guide s'il vous plaît j'ai besoin don't guide s'il vous plaît and this is basically imagine you're at montpellier before and you've now moved to marseille you can just ask them at the hotel reception is that please could i have the guide just so that i can get a better understanding of the city and i can know where i'm going and trust me they'll be more than delighted to help you and finally when leaving the hotel the airbnb or wherever it is you stayed you can say merci pour un bon moment au revoir merci 
pour un bon moment au revoir this can be thank you so much for a wonderful moment or thank you for a wonderful stay to your host wherever it is you stayed and just so that you can get back to the airport back onto the plane and back to your country so yes tell me how did you feel pronouncing those words <laughs> did you laugh out loud did you make some mistakes don't worry you'll be fine if you're planning any trip to any francophone country soon i would advise you to take your time to listen to this video again to write down these words and keep them handy because when i first traveled and i couldn't speak french i wish i had these tips but it's okay we're here now so leave a comment in the comment section below telling me if you know any other useful French phrases that have helped you when you travel to a francophone country or that are currently helping you and you wish somebody else had told you. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, bonjour.